That tornado was part of the same system that is now hitting our area. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch is back once again with a look at our red alert. Vanessa. Well, thankfully, we are not anticipating severe thunderstorms here, but certainly we've already gotten our share of rock and thunderstorms rolling through the region, and it led to a flood advisory that is in effect until 715. As we look live outside to the approach to the GWB, we see that things are quiet, heading toward Jersey, but backlogged. And this is likely in part because of this terrible weather today. That flood advisory in effect because we are seeing flooding around the region through the city points west and north. 59 degrees right now with east winds at 7. What can you expect? Continued rounds of heavy rain tonight. Flooding especially in areas with poor drainage. Uh, coastal flooding also possible until 10 p.m. this evening and wind gusts will be a challenge. They'll be ramping up gusting to 40 miles per hour along the shoreline. I'm sure you're curious just how much has fallen already. This is the tally since all of the rain began to fall this weekend. Brick, New Jersey is over the six inch mark now. Brooklyn Heights over five and a half. Harrison, New Jersey just about four and a half. In the park, we've picked up nearly three and a half inches, and we expect to far surpass that three and a half inch mark before all is said and done. At this moment in time, a little low for those of you in Ocean County, a welcome break. Cloudy skies, mist and drizzle, but no steady heavy rain over the east end right now. Most of the heavy action over the city, northeastern New Jersey, and lifting up north through the lower Hudson Valley. As we zoom in, we see a little bit of lightning right now over Yonkers and another thunderstorm cell lifting through Fairfield County due north. What we can expect for the remainder of night is more of this activity. We've got one area of low pressure lifting through tonight and another out to the west that will continue to plague us through Wednesday at least with an opportunity for showers, but not the drenching rain that we will see through the midnight hour tonight. Let's break it down for you. Eight o'clock here we see rounds of heavy rain lifting through the region. As of midnight, heaviest rain to the north now, still some residual action over Jersey. By tomorrow morning daybreak, skies are clear for a moment. Roadways, though, are likely still in cases a challenge to move on through, right? So ponding for that morning commute tomorrow should be expected by midday Monday. We are seeing a return of the cloud cover. It will be a mix of sun and clouds and about a 20% chance for a passing shower tomorrow. As we make our way into Tuesday, that story doesn't change. It only amplifies with a slightly better bet Tuesday for more showers to roll through. Now, as we look forward through 4 a.m., when the rain essentially exits, we're looking at another anywhere from a quarter of an inch to maybe an inch and a half more of rain. That is possible. That is what we expect tonight in addition to the winds ramping up. We'll bottom out at 50. It's heavy rain before midnight and then beginning to clear as we look toward tomorrow. Sunshine to start, clouds and some showers to end. It's a high of 63 tomorrow and it's still breezy. Winds will be out of the southwest tomorrow at 10 to 20. The extended forecast now. It's not so pretty for the rest of your work week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, unsettled with a chance for showers upper 50s. Friday, we're seeing a little bit of an improvement. 62, big payoff next weekend if the forecast holds mid and upper 60s, low 70s with increasing sunshine through the weekend. But tonight, that red alert is in effect until midnight, Jess. All right. Thanks so much, Vanessa.